Carnegie Mellon, here we go, who uh, shared this code based on um, Google's material design. Um, and this is uh, free for us to use. All we have to do is connect it uh, to our website or our HTML file, just like we did with external style sheets. So if you remember, we use external style sheets to, co to style our websites. Um, this is shared uh, through what's called a CDN. CDN stands for Content Delivery Network. So all we have to do is link it in a similar way that we linked our external style sheets. So let's go to Sublime. <clears throat> let's do a new, uh, new window. Let me go to Terminal and go to our web animation folder. Web, oh wait, CD web animation. LS CD web dash animation. LS CD web dash animation. LS. And then I'll create a new folder. Actually, I'll call it Materialize Intro. OK. CD into this folder. And we have an empty folder. Good. So in Sublime, I will open that folder. Open. Web animation, and here we go. New file, save it as materialized demo. Setup is similar, HTML, and just like I was saying with external style sheets, we want to link uh, the CSS for material design. Um, so what we're going to do is click on getting started from their uh, website. You have the option of downloading it, so you could have the file itself and then um, linking it similar to how we did external style sheets. However, they make it easy to link to their CDN. So they have a bunch of servers all around the world that are hosting this file right here, materialize.min.css. And it's uh, you know, this uh, site here. So we'll copy this and we'll paste it right underneath the title tag. So just like external style sheets, we had access to the custom styles that we did. Now we have access to the materialized styles. Now that's just the styles. They also, oh wait, I should do it here, have a JavaScript library that we could use. And that's good for like drop down menus or pop up windows um, and other animations that we'll be doing with Materialize. So we'll also connect that. So now we have the Materialize CSS and JavaScript at our disposal. However, um, Materialize, actually, the JavaScript for Materialize relies on another JavaScript library called jQuery. So we're going to have to also access a J, or the jQuery library. So I'll share this link with you also, but it's easy to search for. Uh, again, it's a CDN, so it's, there's a whole bunch of servers all around the world that uh, are hosting this so that um, it's easy access for everyone. So all you do is type in jQuery, Google, uh, API, no let's do CDN, CDN. And it's the first link hosted libraries, Google developers. 
Google hosts a whole bunch of these types of libraries. So you can see they have Angular, Angular Material, Dojo, X. You want to skip down to jQuery and copy the 2.x snippet. And paste it right above the materialize uh, script. Order matters. So we have two JavaScript libraries. Always put the jQuery first because materialize relies on jQuery. The browser will load your CSS and JavaScript in the order that they appear. So because um, styles appear first, uh, meaning what, you, what the user sees is the styles, it's important to have that load first. So that's why we put it on the top. Scripts, however, things that animate, uh, like I said, drop down menus, pop up windows, that stuff doesn't really get activated until the user interacts with the website. So it's okay for this to load later on. So you have your CSS, then your HTML will be here, and then your JavaScript. And then of course, like I said, materialize depends on the jQuery JavaScript. So it's important to have this tag, I'm sorry, this script on top, the jQuery script on top of the materialize script. Okay. So that is setting up your HTML file. Now we can get started with making a website. Actually, you know what, let's have you guys set up your files first and then from there we will um, start actually making a website. So let me pause 